All right, so everybody's freaking out about this drag your GAN tool, drag GAN, and it's basically a tool that uses AI to manipulate images. And I was gonna just take a quick look at this because it seems like this is sort of, I don't know, the next big AI trend. If you go on Google Trends right now and look up Dragan, people are just losing it over this thing. So essentially what the tool does is it allows you to take images and drag them and manipulate them. And so this is like a dog where if you change the position of its ears or face, you can see it sort of changes the entire dog. This is a truck. If you enlarge the truck, it changes it to a different truck and a different car. So I'm just gonna kind of look through these different examples here. I don't think it's accessible yet, but the tool looks really, really cool. I guess you just load in an image like this and you select the point that you want to be able to edit the image. And it kind of looks like it just changes the image. So I guess you would be using this for maybe videos. And I guess you could use it obviously for building any sort of image you wanted of whatever you're editing. It'd be very interesting to see how this would interact with something like Midjourney, where you could essentially generate an AI video or a, a, generate an AI image and then plug that into something like this. And then this would go and change the AI generated image. So that's a lion. This is a cat and they have all these different examples. I'll leave a link to this website so you can go see all these different examples. But I mean, really kind of cool, especially if you could turn this into something like a video where you could take an image and then you could sort of automatically turn this into a video. I'm sure there's a way that you could automate this too. But this is like a video of a cat closing its eyes or they're closing the cat's eyes. And it's going to be really interesting to see all the different possibilities with this sort of tool. I think this is them making a horse run maybe they're selecting the foot yeah and they're getting the horse to move forward <laughs> it's kind of interesting because it's moving in place the image in the oh i guess the image in the background is slightly changing and i guess now they're moving the horse forward oh they're making it into a smaller horse but i i can't even imagine how many different things you could use this for and how you could essentially take any of your images on something like social media and then kind of turn them into videos. Okay, this thing consists of two main components, including a feature-based motion supervision that drives the handle point to move towards the target position and a new point tracking approach that leverages the discriminative GAN features to keep localizing the position of the handle points. Through Dragan, anyone can deform an image with precise control over where pixels go thus manipulating the pose, shape, expression, and layout of diverse categories such as animals, cars, humans, landscape, etc. As these manipulations are performed on the learned generative image manifold of a GAN, they tend to produce realistic outputs even for challenging scenarios such as hallucinating occluded content and deforming shapes that consistently follow the object's rigidity. So I don't know what a lot of that means. All I know is that this is cool and you can really start to manipulate images with it. I really think that as we get closer and closer to AI becoming more and more intelligent, we're going to see more stuff like this where we're going to start to see AI video really start to take off where you can start taking images or even text to image or text to video and, and really just start to have videos become generated through AI, right? Like if you wanted to generate a whole movie in the future, I think you'll be able to. You can probably use something like ChatGPT to build you a script for an entire movie and you could probably generate it and watch it for hours. And so we're just at the start of where AI video is headed. And that's why I think the more you can kind of get into AI video stuff now, you're gonna be way ahead of most people. Now, I think the question is, how would we use this to earn money? And I think the possibilities are pretty endless. Like you could essentially take any sort of content and automate, you know, the generation of new content 
with stuff like this. So think about Instagram, you know, taking pictures off of your profile and having 20 or 30 different variations of that image that you could go and post as unique content, either on the same platform or on other platforms. And then you put some sort of video aspect into this as well, where you could take a still image and then you can use this to turn an image into basically stock video. So they have something like this sort of right now, but it's not really as close to what we're seeing here. So I could take like an image that I generated with mid journey and you can see this kind of turns this into a, like almost kind of looks like a video, but all it's really doing is it's just kind of like manipulating the images to kind of rotate in different directions. So I could click on like these different features and make it look a little bit different, but ideally, you know, this isn't really, again, what we're seeing with this dragon thing where you're literally able to actually create different sort of images from an initial image. So this is really going to kind of be a game changer when this does come out. And again, I don't know when this is expected to show up, but I'm sure as soon as this sort of thing drops, it's going to be in completely insane. Because again, we're not like this is kind of the closest thing we have to it right now. And so even this though is cool, right? Because now we could take images, we can turn them into like essentially short videos, you know, very small, quick videos like this. And then we can use this as sort of stock video in our uh, videos. Like if we're doing a short YouTube short or a TikTok video, we could use this with captions over it. And it would essentially look like a video that we're just sort of generating initially from something like mid journey. Now, the only other thing that's interesting around sort of this video, sort of AI video trend right now is something like gen two or hugging face video, text to video synthesis. But even gen two, which is text to video AI is not released publicly yet. It's still in beta. And this is essentially a tool that'll allow you to generate video that kind of looks like this and it looks really good, but again, we can't use it yet. And so the only next thing that we can really use is hugging face text to video synthesis. And this is kind of the results we get, which is like a two second video. Let's say we put in an astronaut riding a horse. And I mean, that's kind of what we get. So, and we have Shutterstock watermarks because this tool is essentially uh, built on it looks like a Shutterstock sort of environment. But look, this is Spider-Man riding a, a surfboard. But again, like this is so new, right? This space AI video is so new that there isn't really anything out there. And, and, and the players, the companies that are really going hard on this are going to end up blowing up. This is going to be like what we saw with Mid Journey when Mid Journey kind of exploded. And now this is like just this massive, massive sort of uh, has a massive user base, right? And I think that, again, if you could start diving into the video side of things like this with AI um, and you jump on this now, this is really going to be where the next wave, the next AI wave sort of hits is the AI video type stuff. So anyways, uh, that's sort of my analysis on this. Um, let me know what you think. And all of the tools that I'm looking at can be found at scarytoolbots.com. This is sort of my list, my checklist of all the different tools I've been finding. If you want to go grab it, it's at scarytoolbots.com. You can get all the different tools that I'm sort of, uh, you know, adding to the list and figuring out what are the ones that are worth using and one, what are the ones that aren't.